Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and I am the owner and maker here at Denwood Design Studio. Today, I'm very excited to bring you into my studio space and show you a little bit about where I create. And I want to preface this with, uh, I have a really beautiful design space and I am so lucky that the house that I have has two living rooms and I was able to defer the formal living room uh, as my studio space. Not everybody has this, uh, and I'm very well aware of that. And in fact, when I moved into this space, what I moved out of was an 850 square foot condo shared with three pretty much adults. So things were tight. I was able to create in about a 12 square foot space, and I had to maximize every square centimeter of that area uh, to get the most out of it. So I know how lucky I am to have this and I know that not all of you out there will have space like this, but in order to keep it open and flowing, I still need to be mindful of how I organize and store my things to keep it organized because a big space can get out of control pretty quick. Um, so I'm hopeful that these little um, tips and tricks that I share with you today or how you see how I have things set up is something that can help you. And it doesn't matter what your design space looks like. You need to be comfortable where you are. You need to find a space that promotes the creativity within you and feeds that passion. And as long as you have that, it doesn't matter if you're in a garage, in a cellar, uh, in a crawl space, a basement, a she shed, uh, which is something I've always wanted. Um, so for those of you who have one, I would love to see your photos. Please drop links in the bottom um, in the comment section for me. I would love to see your she sheds. Um, I feel like this is something I'll have one day. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, let's get started. <music> Hey everyone, welcome to Denwood Design Studio. As they say, this is where the magic happens. So I'll just give you a second here to kind of have a look around and I'll go through each section with you and sort of point out some tips and tricks that I use to keep things neat, tidy, organized and things that you can use even in a small space. So I kept everything pretty light in color. I love white, it just keeps everything looking bigger and brighter. And I do have the ability to be sectioned off from the rest of the house, which I love. So, so that's kind of my little setup there that I sit at. Um, this little stand that I'm opening here used to be under the desk uh, at the old place. Uh, and that's what had the printer on it, so I would pull it out each time. So in here, I've just got some bits and pieces, things like um, little rivets for card making, my blades for my X-Acto knife, hot glue gun, glue sticks, uh, stuff for embossing, some twine, kind of odds and sods and a little random in there. Uh, in here I've got some shipping stuff, so those are some extra uh, business cards in the white box there. My Cricut pens and infusible ink pens poly mailers underneath and then the bottom drawer is where I keep like my water slide paper, my printer paper, some stickers, um, the brown box there I didn't open it's just sticker paper that I use for all of my branding and all of that everything gets printed on that and uh, so yeah I keep that all pretty handy and now I use it as like a um, side table, side end table type thing for when people join me in the studio and they like to sit there. Uh, this used to be a bit of a glitter shelf before my big glitter shelf was built. Um, so I just kept some things that I use readily. So the alcohol, the uh, acetone, mica powders, and then I have this really neat container here where I keep all of my alcohol inks together. Um, and it just keeps everything a little bit more organized, which I prefer. I got that at Michael's, that little tin. Uh, that's got my tacket in it that's diluted with water. And these are just some really cool pigments that I got uh, in an advent calendar from Em and Cat Glitter Factory. 
I'm pretty excited. I haven't used them yet. Some random glitter I don't really use anymore, so it's just kind of up here and out of the way. Um, and then the mantle, and I usually just keep a couple of things relevant. Um, that welcome sign and the resin tray I uh, teach classes on as well. So a uh, little card I got from a customer, which is just it was so touching, I had to keep it. So um, I do have a propane fireplace that keeps everything a beautiful temperature in here. So I don't have to worry about for the epoxy. It's wonderful. Uh, I keep all my paints together in just a big tote. Um, I use a lot of these. I paint canvas and use it on my cups as well. So it just keeps everything kind of all neat and together in one spot and Lots of different, it's just a hodgepodge, <laughs> but it's all paint. And then this um, container, the stand here with all the containers in it, I believe I got that as a birthday gift from Michaels. And um, it's part of their modular uh, container type thing that you can add on and build. Uh, so I just keep all my uh, cardstock, different cardstocks, different papers in those ones and then the bottom three are the different vinyls um, different sheets of vinyl so print and um, kind of just odds and sods of permanent and then all that is oracle um, that i keep in there and then in the old place i had very little room you remember and i showed a picture but up on top, I would keep, or under the bed, I kept these totes. These are perfect for under the bed. So for those of you who are lacking in space, flat, long storage containers are amazing. So in this one, I have my uh, pressure vinyl. And then in that one, there is all of the um, heat transfer vinyl. So then my uh, transfer tape. And then here, I've just got some uh, stock of some other things that I do. So some koozies. I have a random makeup bag left, some uh, other bags, t-shirts. Uh, those are the ponytail hats. So just kind of keep those uh, out and on display just that way they didn't get wrecked in a, being sat in a box or something. Uh, and then these bins just keep everything organized by kind of groups of what they are. So that's the ribbon I use for my signs and the freshies. Some odds and sods I have for some epoxy projects keychains and um, yeah so it's just the hardware and then all the kind of little accoutrements with it and then I got this big bag of pom-poms that came in the other day so rather just keep it in that bag keeps it a little more organized with it all together and then this is just a random stock of things that are done and partially done and kind of some ready to ship type stuff that I've got and always good for a quick gift or you know if somebody's looking for something specific it's already made and then this is what actually used to have all of my glitter in it in the apartment uh, in the condo so um, you know I basically kept everything I had a very small glitter stash that I started with uh, so now I just kind of keep some odd you know kind of odd random things um, but again it's a five drawer it keeps things all together um, some of the drawers are smaller than others and uh, so it gives you a lot of versatility and it's got wheels on it you can or you can opt it to have them on or you can take them off so in this I just keep you know a lot of my tape <laughs> popsicle sticks kind of random I just stuck them in there but some of my medicine cups um, packing tape the um, masking tape makeup pads, that kind of thing, just stuff for applying to epoxy. And I keep that right on the side of the table that I'm always working on. So if there's something I need in there rather quick, it's right there beside me. So, uh, and then extra epoxy I keep in here, um, some extra popsicle sticks on my stash of gloves, a wide variety of gloves. Not one I use obviously for spray painting quite frequently and uh, so it's just lots of extras and stuff like that so again these make really great storage options they don't take up a ton of space they keep everything neat and tidy you can group it all by um, you know like items uh, and then yeah spray paint was another one that I needed to find a way to keep organized so 
Uh, my boyfriend built me this uh, box and it's wonderful. Keeps everything in, keeps the dust off of it. Uh, I used to have it out on the balcony and um, obviously I need another one, I think. So the bottom, this tray also is really good, handy. I had a lot of other stuff in here back at the condo as well. So you can organize it in whatever way you want. So uh, spray paint on the bottom and then I've got all my packing stuff shipping stuff or you know for local deliveries and whatnot in there and then up tops all my stickers tape warning labels or not warning labels but you know handle with care please these things are fragile <laughs> and I've been really fortunate nobody's looked like they've drop kicked my package around town so um but yeah and then the glitter wall so um this is a fairly new addition here into the studio because I switched everything into these really awesome shaker bottles that I got on Amazon. I believe they are the Beckwith um, or Beckith ones. They're really hard to find now. Um, so I've got some more coming from M and Cat Glitter Factory and I'm excited for those coming in. But um, yeah, so I just needed something to be a little bit more organized in here uh, for all the glitter. So, And then this is my inventory shelf. Um, so I just keep everything always grouped by what they are so that I can on a quick look see where I'm getting low, what I need to order more of, and, um, and then the bottom shelf I just keep my easy press and a few other things. This basket is always up top there, it was just easier to have it down for you before the video started. So it's my cup cradles, just a couple of pool noodles, and then any of my extra arms and attachments, different sized ends. Uh, for my turner arms I keep in there and then just keep it up on top of the shelf and all those shelves guys they don't need to cost you an arm and a leg so we got those at a closing out sale at a furniture store we kept our eye on Facebook marketplace uh, some of them were just downright hideous and we sanded them right down to bare and then primed them and painted them so um, this is the cups to be stripped here so those will be going um, into my bucket there in a bit. Uh, and then these are just some freebies. I did a craft show uh, in, I can't remember if it was November, I think it was November. And um, so I just, pegboard was really easy to have some grab and go items on there. So I've just kind of stuck with that. And I keep my freshies, my pop sockets and keychains that I use for giveaways. And then that's kind of how I organize my lids for orders that I have going on. And I usually have quite a few of those baskets up on the window ledge. And then this is what I use for photography. So it's just foam core board and um, it's taped two pieces with clear tape. And then I just use shelf liner paper from dollar store and lined the back. So I have a wood one. And then if I flip over the other way, it's just plain white as well. And then those just fold up really flat. So again, guys, they can go up on top of something on top of a dresser, against a wall behind a desk, anywhere that you know, just kind of has a slim little space. And I just keep mine tucked beside my little other shelving unit here. So they're always handy. And then this is just another shelving unit we found on Facebook marketplace, I think might have paid like $40 for it, something like that. So I just keep some extra gloves up there, my weigh scale for shipping, um, and then a basket where I keep all of my molds in there. So I've got a straw topper, I've got some keychain molds, I've got little dish molds, alphabet mold, that kind of thing. Um, so I just keep them all in there. It keeps them all together and, you know, hopefully keeps them a little bit cleaner. Obviously that one needs a little bit of work. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it keeps it all together. And then I've just got a couple of little shelves or containers of keeps things that are small, all neat and tidy together. So um, I keep all my sharps, scissors um, in one, all my weeding tools in another. And then this one is all adhesives. So the double-sided sticky tape there, pop dots, glue sticks, that kind of stuff. And then some post-it notes, um, just, because they're always handy to have for sure. Extra squeeze bottles on hand. So I live about 40 minutes out of town, so it's not always convenient for me to pop out. So I always try to keep extras of a few things here. Got some extra spinners, 
Um, they're not really great, obviously, but they do work in a pinch if something was to happen. So I've got some steel wool in there, a bag of sand from when I was in France last year, or the year before, I guess, didn't go anywhere in 2020. <laughs> um, extra fuel for my uh, torch, and then I've got some stain, paintbrushes, um, polycrylic there in the back for my ornaments and whatnot. Um, a drill, and then that basket there just again keeps some neat and tidy things. So bags for my freshies, some raffia, and just some craft odds and sods there. Um, I keep all my straws together in one bag, and then that basket there is kind of some grab and go stuff that I use for my mystery boxes when I do them as well. So uh, it's just a wide variety of different things. Uh, and then this is for all my freshies. So uh, I've got some more um, cookie cutters, the beads, and the oils kind of all grouped together. I try to keep everything neat and tidy together based on, you know, what what craft they're for specifically. So, um, yeah, so it was pretty, pretty straightforward. And then my desk, my workspace. Again, I got that chair when I bought the table and a couple of the bookshelves there. Um, and paid next to nothing for them. It was just a, a going at a business sale. So this is kind of the original setup that if you remember from earlier in my video where I showed you previously. Um, so the floating shelves were a great asset because you can build up when you can't build out. Uh, and as long as you've got them anchored really well, then they're perfect. So they just add a little bit of extra room and keep my cricket mats there against the wall facing in, keeps everything neat and tidy. They've got their plastic covers on them, of course, but, um, and then there's my Cricut, my printer, and then these have some drawers. So this cart as well was uh, part of a uh, birthday gift that I had uh, this year, or last year, I guess. And um, yeah, it's really, really handy. It got my Cricut off my desk, which just allowed me to use my desk more productively. And um, and it keeps everything all grouped together. So um, I haven't quite figured out everything that I'm gonna put in the drawers yet. It'll likely change in a million times, but um, I just keep everything close at hand. Some tattoos that I have there for my cups. So, and again, guys, like these little carts and things like that, anything that has built built-in storage for you is huge. They don't have to take up a ton of space, um, but I wanted a, my table to be the focus in the room. I needed a big space, a big table. Um, so this just totally fit the bill here. And again, it's just an old coffee or a dining room table um, that we sanded, we primed and we painted. Obviously it's gonna need to be kind of stripped down again. I've got some epoxy and whatnot on it, but um, I just keep everything handy on here. So there's the two motors, two motor units, so I can spin eight cups at a time with eight up top. And keep my torch up there, roll of paper towels handy, my heat gun on the end there. And you'll notice uh, I don't have any natural lighting in the studio at all, so we had to get creative and hang these LED lights. But that's the studio, guys. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.